Welcome back Silver Bull fans, welcome back to Silver Bull channel. I just had to quickly share this with you, urgent alert. Um, you remember on uh, Fukushima I said that uh, all that radioactive water that they released into the North Pacific would enter the food chain and um, the first place we'd expect it to uh, be causing problems is uh, higher up in the food chain. Um, what happens with any toxin such as mercury for example as it uh, is absorbed by the environment is absorbed by those uh, uh, at the bottom of the food chain like plant life, the, the phytoplankton and then the zooplankton which eats on that and each step up the food chain it gets this poison gets more and more concentrated till you get lethal amounts to those at the top of the food chain namely um, uh, you know in this case seals or human beings for example sharks things like that um, now we've seen that in the case of mercury and it's the same process basically with uh, radioactive isotopes um, whereas at the bottom of the food chain they might uh, be very uh, small and may not kill off vast amounts of phytoplankton or zooplankton as it moves up the food chain you can expect this uh, this increasing amount of um, toxic uh, radioactive material to have even greater effects each step up the food chain as it gets concentrated and here we see uh, they're having uh, ringed arctic seals uh, just dying in Canada and Russia now these are uh, creatures that would be feeding from the arctic ocean there and uh, you know um, they're, they're developing um, ulcers on their skin their hair is falling out you know it just sounds like radiation sickness as you'd expect in a human being i.e. You you've seen someone who has chemo or something their hair falls out um, you know, uh, bad radiation after um, Hiroshima and that, and people were covered in burns and blisters and things like that. Um, they're talking here about uh, revealed lesions on their uh, lungs, hearts, livers and brains, and they say, oh, I don't know what's causing it. Well, wake the hell up. We do know what's causing it. I I'd love you to test these creatures for radioactive material because it sounds very much like it's uh, radiation uh, causing these problems. Um, some of the isotopes they may not be able to find the half-life may have already you know they may uh, uh, um, go out of the system but um, some of the other longer lasting isotopes will definitely be there I mean some of these things have uh, radioactive uh, half-lives of millions of years so they're not going anywhere so um, I strongly suggest these scientists test for radiation and uh, you know, I wouldn't be eating anything from the North Pacific or even Arctic Oceans, um, maybe even the whole Pacific, um, as this poison spreads around, gets concentrated in the food chain, particularly in uh, species such as tuna, you know, um, species high up in the food chain like that, um, sharks, all that sort of thing. I, I, I just go completely off seafood, to be honest. Um... I know for some people that might be a big deal not to eat seafood, but um, until they can uh, properly uh, check this, your your own safety as a, uh, a person high up in the food chain, you know, because eating fish, shellfish, uh, tuna, all that sort of thing, pitch at the very top of the food chain. And if indeed these radioactive isotopes are concentrating up the food chain, you're basically uh, eating a, a big dose of radiation poisoning um, and why would you want to do that to yourself? Uh, it's just safer not to, to do it at all. Um, be very careful. That's my advice to you. Be very careful. Uh, research into this topic more. Uh, keep your eyes out on it. Um, Silver Bull Channel out.